Hey class, my name is Mark. I'm James. I'm Matt Zavala. And today, out of all the topics that we learned throughout English 111, we decided to focus our presentation on rhetorical situations. We felt rhetorical situations was an important subject to touch on because we as writers should know this as we leave English 111 and move on to English 112, well most of us if we pass, and we thought it was important to remember this because it emphasizes on topics and subjects that we all should know and all should pay attention to when we write something. For example, your stance. What is your purpose and what is your voice? Or when you're writing, how is it that you're going to write? So this would fall on the subject of genres. Or your audience, basically who you're writing to. But we're not going to get into too much detail because that's what our video is about. So hopefully you guys enjoy our presentation. It's meant to be a little bit more humorous. So hopefully you find something that will make you laugh. Please do because then this will be awkward. And, uh, Just yeah. like this silence moment. So hopefully you guys enjoy this presentation and you guys are able to figure out what we learned about in English 111. And I don't even know what I'm going to talk about in class tomorrow. But I guess a good night's rest will make everything better. Hey, hey, we're starting, we're starting, we're starting. What? what? We're, starting. We're, starting. We're, starting. we're starting, we're starting, we're starting. Hello there, I didn't see you. I'm James. And he's going to be starting off this presentation for us today. Through our 10-week journey in English 111, we have covered and learned many subjects. All thanks to Professor Lee! Woo! Professor Lee! Some of these include writing, writing process, peer review, and how to properly format a paper. That's not, all we're, that's not what we're going to talk about, though. But we will talk about rhetorical situations. Remember this quiz? Do you remember that? No, no. Don't That's okay, because I don't either. Oh, well. Rhetorical situations include purpose, audience, genre, stance, and media. But we will not cover media and design. And that's because we didn't cover those in class. Okay, so who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Rock, paper, scissors, 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 rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, shoot. Darn it, me again. Loser, loser. Everything we have written is for a purpose from forms of entertainment, like TV shows, scripts, or just to communicate with a loved one, like a love letter, or applying for a job, or it can be as simple as writing how we feel, like a journal or a poem. I love you, Juliet. Your purpose is your whole reason for writing. It's your inspiration. However, when you're thinking of a purpose, you need to take into account how it is you want your audience to react, or, what you want them to understand, and why is it that you're telling them something. But before I leave, now that we know a little bit about purpose, I'm going to go ahead and turn the attention to you guys, the audience. When you write a paper, you have to direct it towards someone. Basically, you have to reach out to a target audience. You wouldn't write an academic paper to a class of kindergartners, would you? <coughs> Holistic Christianity. Characterization in the Pilgrim's Regress. You're using big words again. Just as you wouldn't write a children's story with college students in mind. Oh, no, skate. Oh, okay, cool. So when talking about your audience, or thinking about your audience, you want to have an idea of what they are interested in. Also, keep your demographic in mind. Because racist jokes are never inappropriate. Sorry, I meant appropriate. <laughs> and how you want your audience to react. Next topic is, is stance. I have a question, I have a question. Yes, Mark? I don't understand what stance is. Can you tell me? Good question, Mark. Stance is your viewpoint, your voice, and your claim. Identifying your stance, is it objective, critical, curious, or opinionated? Let's take the example between the debate of Mark and Matthew. Mark, what is your stance on animal cruelty? Pro cruelty! Kill the animals! What about you, Matthew? 
I don't know, uh, free love, save the rainforest, you know, all that good stuff. Based on Matthew's response, we see that he is clearly anti-animal cruelty. If Mark were to write a persuasive essay, he would include such fact, facts as why meat tastes so good to him. But if, Mar if Matthew was to write a paper, he would write about how all animals have feelings. Now that you know what stance is, let's move on to genre. All right, so genre. What does it even mean? Do any of you guys know what genre means? No, Anyone? I don't. What's it mean? How do you not know? We learned this in class. All right, so let me tell you what genre means. Genre is simple. They're just kinds of writing. And in class, we covered papers. But all these papers had different topics. Like our first one, we talked about a personal event in our life. Oh, man. Falling on that rock really changed my life. Ooh, that must have hurt. Our second paper, we talked about literacy narratives. And my mom read me those books. It taught me how to read. That's good for you, James. Our third paper, we talked about how we personally view education. School is definitely cool. Other than papers, some other genres include letters, like the ones the mailman gives you, reports, kind of like the ones you see in the news or the ones scientists write. What about jokes? Jokes is one, too. Actually, I didn't even know that, but jokes are a type of genre also. And poems. But when we write... When we're writing something, we want to identify our own genre because you need to know what it is that you're going to write. Because, for example, you can't write Professor Lee a love letter when you really have to give her a report. That's just weird, and students aren't supposed to do that. So, to basically sum up what I've said about genre, genres exist to distinguish certain types of writing. They're kind of like categories if you really think about it. Um, aren't they exactly like categories? If you'd like to think of them like that, then sure, they're kind of like categories. Cool. So now that we've talked about genre and all the other things, or all the other topics of rhetoric situations, here's our conclusion. Graphic in mind. Now you want your audience to react. Next to the genre. Oh, I just dance. Oh, okay. What did you do? She'd be like, make sure you have to go. Next step. Did you F it up? Take it out? No. Like, is it good? Oh, dude. Oh, bro. Oh, it is breaking. Don't break the third one. That's the. <laughs> our next topic. Our next topic is stands. Does it still work though? Hmm? Does it still work? Does it still try?